in problems like this one, we're dealing with a percentage of increase or decrease. So something goes up by a certain percent or something goes down by a certain percent. And we're, st we're supposed to find out, you know, what then is the resulting value. This one says last year, Chris opened an investment account with $5,400. At the end of the year, the amount had decreased by 24%. So Chris has got less money than when he started with. Not a good year for investing. Oh, well. So the first part of this question says fill in the blank to write the year end amount in terms of the original amount. And this, I think, is the trickier part. If you decrease by 24%, well, one way to find that is you could multiply 5,400 by 24% and then subtract that amount from 5,400. Or, you know, 100% minus 24% would be 76%. So if something decreases by 24%, that means you have 76% of it left. So if we're going to write the year end amount in terms of the original amount, we could say 0.76 times the original amount. So we'll do that. And that 0.76, that's just 76 converted to a decimal by moving the decimal point two places to the left. And then the second part says, use your answer in part A to determine the year end amount in Chris's account. And all we need to do here is just multiply the 0.76 times the original amount, with it, which is 5,400. So let's go ahead and do that. So 0.76 times 5,400. And Chris has 4,104 left. So $4,104 left in the investment account. So that is how to find what they call a multiplier to give a final amount after an increase or a decrease.